We've actually been at the church here uh, for about 15 years in one form or another, uh, providing services to adults with learning disabilities. But in our present form of actual clubhouse, we've been here since 2005. The purpose of our project really is twofold. Um, one, to provide work experience and training to the adults with learning disabilities within the areas that we operate here, i.e. providing meals, um, serving at the coffee bar, helping others, and also as a social gathering place. Because we're such, we're a group that's really quite um, into arts and crafts, and we know that the adults that come here love that aspect of their lives. That uh, we thought it would be nice to, to link in with the Brom and Millers here, um, to sort of link to, to the outside, really, so that we're not sort of an isolated group. Sort of make lots of crafts here and then they get taken home. I don't think anybody recognises the actual skill level of the people here and the quality of the work that they can produce. I think this is one way that the outside pile can be shown just what these adults can achieve, which is very a good standard. And you need that anyway, it's a candle. Mm. What's your name? Why don't you Jane. Take from the candle? Jane? Yeah. What, what are you making, Jane? Lane. A snowman toy. Oh, snowman, can you show me? Yeah. yeah. Can you pick it up and show me? Or? Oh. Let's have a look. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. 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 That's really good. Are you enjoying that? Yeah. Are you learning a lot? Yeah. Yeah. How long have you been doing mosaics? Since last week. Since last week? Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. And what are you doing today? I did, a, a, I did a, a rainbow. A rainbow? Oh, brilliant. When did you start that? The um, uh, first, first time. Today? Yeah, today. Ah, yeah. that's really good. What do you enjoy about mosaics, making mosaics? Um, shaping it, cutting it out, and putting it, and um, making a picture of it. Can you tell me about what you're making then? I'm making, oh God, I'm making a, a candle, a Christmas candle on a plaque, Brilliant. which I've never done before. Can you show me? Holding it up now. How long has that taken? Three, three weeks. That's really good. And do you enjoy coming to the centre to learn? Oh, I do, yes. I do like my art and craft. Yes, I do like learning. Yeah. I, do, I do enjoy it. And tell me about your teacher that's been teaching you how to do mosaics. She's uh, been helping her a lot, helping her out, showing her what to do and how to cut the pieces and what side on the board to use and that and what colours we need. Is she a good teacher? She's very good, she's yeah, very patient. Yeah. Yeah, very nice, nice person. Three weeks I've been doing it, I quite enjoy it. You do? Yeah, it's nice relaxing. Sometimes I find it difficult cutting the right uh, pieces in the right angles. Be a bit friendly as well. Mm. Sometimes I need a bit of help, you know, getting the right shape pieces. My name's Myra Swanson and I'm a community mosaic artist, which basically means I, I get to work with all forms of community groups, whether it's adults or children, and I teach them how to create mosaics or we work as a team to make large murals for either playgrounds or community centres. I was um, introduced to Brummer Millers just a few months ago and the whole concept is absolutely wonderful because it's to teach disabled adults how to create mosaics but to the, to the level that eventually they'll be able to be employed and their work will be sold in retail outlets. 
it's the satisfaction and the achievement of actually creating something for themselves. It's, it's team effort as well because they've been working together. It's, it's been able to relax and also, also you know, the little banter which they have in between. And it's the skills, they've also gained a skill. No, but in between Yeah, but if you move the piece up closer, there won't be any gaps. That's it, see, well done. What's your name? I'm Catherine. Catherine, can I see what you're doing? Should we turn it around this way then? Oh, wow. <laughs> Are you enjoying doing that? I don't mind doing it. It's a good, it's a good fun to do. It's good fun. Yeah. Good. Tell me what you're doing now. I'm doing um, this guy at the moment. And then what do we do? And then put a, a tail on. quite the right shape or not. How do you find the cutting, Andrew? That is the most difficult and also the mo you have to watch your fingers. Yeah. Can you do the background now? Uh, I don't know what to do the background. Oh, it'd be blue, couldn't it? Um, oh, shall I cut them or...? You're going to need to cut them, aren't you? Well, I'll tell you what, you could actually stick a whole tile all around, around the edge. How about doing that? If you stop, I've put lots more glue down. No, there's nowhere near enough glue. I want to see... Like that. Yeah. What do you think about the mosaics they're doing here? Well, I love it. I think it's great. I've, I've noticed that they do tend to have been concentrated a lot more, especially the people that don't normally join in activities. So I think that's really good. Um, and as you can see, I've got it hooked as well. <laughs> I'm trying to do my own in between helping everybody else as well, so it's really quite therapeutic. Well, basically, we set out for them to actually enjoy it. That's the main thing. Um, and it gives them a purpose to actually come into the group, to know that at a certain time we're going to be undertaking this course, um, and that at the end of it, they're going to have a nice article. They're very proud of what they do, and to actually see how pleased they are um, that they've, with their finished article, really is very rewarding. Um, and I think it helps them with their teamwork, they sit together, um, teach them cooperation. Um, I just think a whole range of skills that helps develop their dexterity. I think really the benefits are sort of really quite numerous.